be a pretty short video today. Um, I'm going to talk about, first of all, intro music, ACDC. Let's get it on. Um, an old favorite. Um, when I was a kid, Back in Black came out, and this was their uh, follow-up album. And it didn't do as well. I still sold a ton of records just from the fame of Back in Black. But uh, I've always liked it. Somebody actually gave it to me. It was, uh, uh, I did some, I think I helped uh, stain a neighbor's fence. And he was a member of, if you remember the old record clubs, uh, where they send you an album every month unless you checked it off the, what was it though, 10 albums for a dime or whatever, the Columbia House Records Club or I can't remember for sure, but he ended up, this got shipped to him and he didn't want it. He was an older gentleman, probably not my age at the time, a little younger, but not his style of music. This is, so he gave it to me as part of the payment for some chores he had me do. Anyway, great memories from that song. I was working out this morning and uh, on the spin bike and it came on just randomly from a playlist that was going and I was like, ah, man, just uh, got me to put in a few extra, pick up the pace a little bit and uh, brought back some good memories. So let's start this like we always start these with the positive affirmation toast. I got my coffee. No, I still have not gotten a water filter, so who knows if there's lead in this or not, but that's how bad I like coffee. Um, anyways, give you a minute to do that, to grab a drink if you want to have a toast with me. For those of you that don't know how this goes, um, I do a little positive affirmation toast. I say attitude is everything and take a drink with those of you that want to drink with me. Um, just as a reminder that your outlook every day, every week, every month for the year helps create your reality, um, helps make your life uh, more positive because obviously bad things happen to all of us um, from time to time, bad experiences, bad people, bad events. But if you depending on how you look at those experiences and situations, um, you can get through them better with a, with a good outlook. And it can be hard sometimes, obviously, but um, you should really try to control your destiny and by having a positive outlook instead of letting somebody else or something else control it. So, if you've got your water, your Coca-Cola, your energy drink, whatever it may be, and you want to take a drink with me, I'm going to do it here on three. One, two, three. Attitude is everything. Very good. So uh, what went on this week? Well, started posting weekly. I'm not going to do those little check-in posts uh, for those of you that go to my website. And that was a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to continue doing that. Little report, little check-in. Kind of reminds me of when people check in on their social media, um, Facebook or Instagram or whatever. I'm just doing it on my own website. Not that that makes it any better, but because it's run, I think it's Google that runs that blog, my blog post. Um, but... Um, that's just how I'm choosing to do it. I don't want to get entangled up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and a bunch of other social media accounts. I'm going to do it how I want to do it. Because that's what life's about, right? Doing things the way you want. Um, today's podcast, Amputee Cast, is going to be about putting on your liner when it's slippery. And what do I mean by that? Sometimes, let's say, it's usually when the conditions are really humid and um, you've been working out, you're getting out of the tub, you're getting out of the pool, and you don't have anything to dry your liner off with, and your hands are soaked, and you're trying to 
wipe them on your shorts or, or whatever else. And it can make it really tough. So you just can't, your hands are slipping, you just can't. Those of you that put on a, a liner every day, I'm sure have experienced this one time or another. This is a little method you can use to put your liner on. Um, let me get a towel down here because I'm going to try to simulate wetness and some, all that kind of stuff. Um, that you can get your liner on. You don't want to wear it for a real long distance, but it will get it on. You get your leg on and you can go grab the towel or whatever. Um, I experience this sometimes in the shower if I've done laundry and I forgot to restock my towel. Um, I did today, I'd taken my leg off and I was about to get in the shower when I noticed I didn't have a towel and it was, everything was wet from working out and it was super steamy and hot in there. So I'm not sure if I can simulate this because humidity and stuff like that has a lot to do with it, but we're gonna try. Um, let's see here, let me put this up here for a second. By the way, my background here, I, I believe is gonna change next week. Uh, you can see the slats from my bed that's turned up on its side are starting to come out. It's too hard to keep them up. My air mattress is deflating. I think I put a small hole in it. So I'm gonna take that apart, or at least partially apart, to uh, try and so it doesn't before it falls apart. So who knows what's gonna be back behind me here. And I may just remove the whole thing. I can gain it like almost 20 square feet. <laughs> it's, I got a couple feet by 10 here that behind me that uh, are occupied, but still I gotta, even if I take it apart, I gotta find a spot to store it. So let's see what we can do here. So we, oops, I'm gonna, Move this down and kind of get my face out of the shot because I want to try to. So let's say your leg is all wet. All right. Um, your liner's all wet or sweaty or whatever it, um, whatever the case may be. Okay, so your your hands are slippery. You're trying to. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I didn't think it was going to work. You're trying to get it on and you just can't get a grip on it. You can't get it to roll up. So here's a trick that I do sometimes. And this will work if you're an AK or a BK. You can take the liner. Um, well, first of all, I try to get it, get yourself dried off the best you can here. And this is for a temporary fix. This isn't to, hey, I'm gonna go walk around with my leg. Go ahead and take it and try to put your liner on like a regular sock, which is bad. And it's gonna be tough, but because it's slippery, it's probably gonna go on. And then the distal end here, you're gonna to wanna to push and make sure you get all the wrinkles out. This will work with a suction liner, any, any liner. Um, so if it's too slick to get on, that means it's probably slick enough to get on your leg. Now, obviously, you wanna make sure there's no gap here at the end between the end of your limb that's where things can really go wrong. I've got it on pretty tight. I've got most of the wrinkles out. This is my locking pin system leg, by the way, and voila, I'm able to get it on and go retrieve whatever it is that, um, excuse my nice crotch shot there, huh? I just getting dressed out of the shower and I thought of this while I was doing, before I got in the shower, so I wanted to go ahead and do the video on that. So that is the trick to getting your liner on if your hands are slippery and it's all wet and you just can't get them dry, it's steamy or whatever, you don't have a towel. Um, even with a towel sometimes, if it's really humid in there, there's steam. I've had problems before just getting things, even if you dry them off, get them to uh, be dry enough to put your liner on. So. That's my little tip for today. It's something that I've been doing for years and I never really thought about it because it is a it's a pretty common problem. If you if you go to the gym, um, it can happen there. Like I said, getting ready in the morning, sometimes you forget some of your stuff. Believe me, I've done it all. I've used a t-shirt because I forgot a towel um, or whatever. But um, that may be something that could be useful you know, just slide it on like a sock, grab that bottom end and kind of keep working it and make sure your, your 
pulling it towards you at the same time. Um, so you get in a tight spot like that. I hope that's a helpful tip. I'm gonna cut this short today. Um, I've got a lot of things to do. I've got a side hustle job that I'm looking at starting and I've got, a, I've got some paperwork and stuff like that I need to take care of with it today. I wish each and every one of you the best. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great week.